Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dark Combat video. Today we're going to be discussing all the summons that are going to be coming on the global side of the game. Every banner that's available now and what's going to be upcoming as well as some good predictions as to a specific global first banner which I think will be coming to Dark Combat. So let's go ahead and get straight into the discussion. This is going to be our timeline between now and and the 6th anniversary for Global Dokkan Battle. I'm going to give you guys the times, the dates and the months in which each of these Dokkan festivals will be coming and when I think they'll be most likely to be coming. So right now, we're currently in the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Dokkan Festival, which is an excellent Dokkan Festival. I can't complain. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is absolute powerhouse and they buffed his banner. They made some changes. Instead of the um, uh, STR um, Kefler, we in, they instead gave us the uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan, which is absolutely amazing. Tech Gohan is ridiculous, so it kind of buffed up the banner quite decently. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the best uh, SSR TUR in the game. Uh, one of the best characters in the game that doesn't have an Extreme Z Awakening, that isn't an LR. He's better than most LRs in the game. He's better than a lot of the ex Extreme Z Awakening units in the game. He is a powerhouse. Um, I definitely recommend trying to get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but it's up to you guys if you want to be summoning on this banner or not. This banner is actually decent because we got the uh, Ultimate Gohan, which will be useful in multiple events. Piccolo is decent. Uh, LR Gohan and Goten are still one of the best LRs in the game, um, but unfortunately uh, they've been on many banners. So if you guys have already been summoning, you might have them already or with dupes. So yeah, I have them already 100%. So yeah, they're, they're excellent. Uh, a Super Saiyan uh, 4 Full Power Goku is decent. Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, they need Extreme Z Awakening, uh, Awakenings. They came out in the third uh, anniversary, before the third anniversary actually, uh, the 200, and, uh, 200 million download celebrations, um, which was amazing uh, when they did come out. That's what, uh, This is around the time when I started playing Dokkan, so we could be getting something for uh, Super Saiyan 4s or GT, but I don't think we're going to get that until after the sixth anniversary. I think whatever's going to come next is going to be for the next big download celebration. And we don't know what's that gonna, what that's going to be, but I don't expect any GT celebrations to be coming anytime soon. So yeah, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta banner is available right now for you guys to summon on. Next up is probably going to be Turles. LR Turles is going to be coming. And this guy is the best LR in the game. The best LR in the game is LR Turles. He's... Just far, hands down, the best LR in the game. I'll discuss to you guys why. Now, his legendary banner is going to be coming. His legendary banner is not all that good. It's up to you guys if you want to summon. I'll probably do one or two multis here. But if you guys are saving, definitely keep saving for the big sixth anniversary. It's going to be worth it to summon there. Uh, you guys will probably get the LR Turles during the sixth anniversary. Uh, because there will be the 66 character multi summon or the stone summon you can do for the 66 banner which will include every LR in the game so if you guys are a little bit patient you can probably pull LR Turles then you don't have to get him immediately but if you you know if, if you if you want to get the most powerful LR in the game he's definitely worth it he's a very powerhouse character so he will probably be coming towards the end of this celebration or if not probably during the Bojack celebration but uh, in the timeline events, it does make sense for him to either come now or during a Bojack celebration. So here's a quick glimpse at LR Turles, greatest destroyers of the universe, Turles Army. So Turles Army. So he's a char uh, character leader for terrifying conquerors, provides four key 130% stats. Uh, he's got an active skill as well. Uh, he's got two super attacks, a Calamity Buster. And just to let you guys know, his super attacks are clean. Um, when Legends brought their Turles into the game, I did a quick little snippet of the actual movie. I'm going to leave that link in the description down below. Check out the animations for the movie. That's the animations you're going to get in game. E excellent animations. So we've got the Calamity Blaster and the Crusher Genocide. Uh, here, here, with all Turleses, they always have a high chance of stunning. So additionals would be great on this guy. So uh, attack and defense plus 130%. Terrifying Conqueror's category allies get 3 key and 30% attack and defense plus an additional key plus 6 and an attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. So he has a high chance of stunning. Attacks effective against all types and high chance of launching an additional super attack when key is 24. So you'll be launching multiple super attacks at max key. So, you know, 
bring that fruit of the tree, I might let Turnus go um, completely all out. And his link skills are amazing. Boot beat down, prepared for battle. Big bad bosses, thirst for conquest, destroyer of the universe. Oh, wow. And legendary power. He's got a ridiculous link set. He's on movie bosses, join forces, terrifying conquerors, final trump card, space traveling warriors. I do think LR Turles will probably be coming out during the Bojack celebration because he's on uh, space traveling warriors which is uh, Bojack's team. So I do expect him to come out there. He has really powerful stats, over 23,000 HP, uh, over 20,000 attack, and over 13,000 defense. Amazing. So he, he's a powerhouse. Uh, I expect him to either come during the second part of this celebration or during the next Dokkan celebration, which will be for Bojack. And here's the Bojack banner. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is going to be the next banner that's coming in over to the global side of the game. Gohan is here on this banner. I do think they're going to change this banner. They'll probably change this Gohan for something else. But then again, we do have three Gohans on this banner. So they'll probably either keep the Gohan and maybe change Bardock or Android 13. Uh, of all these characters, it makes most sense for them to probably change the Bardock because uh, Bo Bojack fits with Android 13 because they're movie bosses. Uh, Gohan, it'd be cool if there'd be a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Dokkan Festival. Um, it's it's alright that they brought an LR, but I was hoping that they'd do like a dual Dokkan Festival, Bojack and Gohan, but instead they gave us the LR Gohan. So, the, um, I think during the second part of this celebration, which will probably be coming during March, uh, we're talking about March, maybe early March, early March, I'm thinking probably March the 2nd. Or towards the end of this month towards the end of february or march is when this dokkan festival is going to be coming for bojack is this worth the summon this is a really good banner uh future gohan has not been featured many times so neither has a physical one both of these future gohans have not been featured much on the global side of the game if you guys want to summon it's up to you guys it's definitely worth it uh i do think the Bo gohans will stay on the banner they'll probably change either bardock or android 13. i think they could probably replace android 13 with turles and maybe replace Bardock with, um, maybe not Kefla, but something else, something else. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do think this banner will probably stay, probably change a bit, probably change a bit. So that's the Bojack banner. Here's a look at Bojack himself. He's a lead for space, space traveling warriors, three key and 170% stats. And then also time travelers, three key and 150% stats. Two amazing powerhouse teams. So for a leader skill, he's excellent. And then he has his uh, transformation and everything, all that crazy stuff. Space Traveling Warriors, all of that. Uh, attack and defense plus 100%. Space Traveling Warrior, Cap Gay Allies get 2 key and 30% to attack and defense when facing one or more enemies. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing two or more enemies. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when facing three or more enemies. So it will be giving himself more and more attack and defense depending if you're fighting one enemy, two enemy or more, or three enemy or more. And then he has a transformation. He's got Hero Clan, Galacta Warriors, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst Conquest, Coward Revival, and Fierce Battle. He's going to work excellent with Turles. It, uh, he's going to be Turles' best friend. He's going to provide himself support and Turles support. So if you summon for him, um, getting LR Turles would be such a massive bonus as well. And then he's got this transformation into Full Power Bojack, Lord of Slaughter, Full Power Bojack, where he gives himself three key. 108% attack and defense launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% and attack defense plus 15% when attacking three or more uh, with three or more key spheres plus an additional attack plus 30% and defense plus 15% when attacking with six or more key spheres. So, uh, honestly, this guy is Turles' best friend. Uh, Bojack and Turles work excellent with each other. Uh, it makes it makes sense even with the uh, in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which is basically a spin-off kind of a little fun animation. Uh, Bojack and Turles are quite friendly with each other, so Bojack and Turles work excellent with each other. Um, but unfortunately, Bojack kind of um, he's not the best uh, T.U.R. He's he's very powerful, but he f kind of falls under S.T.R. Cooler, which is not bad at all. S.T.R. Cooler is a powerhouse unit. So uh, this will probably be coming during March time. I'm probably expecting him to be coming alongside LR Turles because I do think that something needs to come for the second part of our celebration right now with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I don't think 
Turles fits in. Turles doesn't fit in, but he does fit in with the Bojack celebration. And then after that, we're going to be getting what I personally think is going to be a global first. I think Resurrection F, right? Golden Freezer is going to come. I do think so. Because Dokkan started off with... When Dokkan first came out, it started off while the Resurrection F movie was coming out back in 2017. So the game's been running since then with all these really trash golden freezers in the game. You guys can even look in the game right now. There's so many horrible golden freezers in the game and we don't have like a full one. So I'm expecting probably a first form freezer which transforms into a, a final form freezer and then into this golden freezer. I do expect that. I do expect that. Um, this animation looks absolutely amazing. LR Golden Freezer animation. This looks really clean. I do like it. So LR Golden Freezer and probably an Extreme Z Awakening for this one here, which they only gave us about last month. Um, Golden Freezer and Sorbet. So we do need some Resurrection F characters in the game. So yeah, uh, it'd be really cool if they brought this as a global first Golden Freezer and Resurrection F uh, kind of you know, summon and probably have a sorbet as a banner unit or just, you know, a Dokkan festival, global, global first. So it does make sense. We do have, we're going to have a small period where we'll be quite open. And then after maybe this global first, we'll probably be getting the big dual Dokkan festival, Janemba and Paikuhan. Now these banners are ridiculously good. Uh, we're looking at some really powerhouse units. I don't have Gotenks. I don't have Vegito Rainbow, I don't have Zamasu Rainbow. This banner has a whole bunch of future saga units in it. I did a full showcase for Goku Black as well. He is excellent at level 10 links, he's really good. Uh, before level 10 links, he's terrible. <laughs> the link update really buffed a lot of the weaker characters in the game, and they're really good now. So, yeah, we've got Janemba, Gotenks, LR of Jito, and um, Zamasu Trunks. Transforming Trunks, um, LR Vegito, the Int one. This is an excellent banner. This banner is really, really good. Um, especially for the easier unit uh, Janemba we have. The brand new Janemba, he's excellent as well. The Gotenks, which I don't have. The LR Vegito is ridiculous. This is this is a really good banner. For a Duodokan Festival, the Janemba banner. I personally think the Janemba banner is way better than the um, Paikohan banner. But yeah, this is the Janemba banner. Uh, this will be coming to us around April time. April. I'm saying mid-April is when we're going to get Janemba. Mid-April. Mid-April, we're going to be getting Janemba. Mid-April or beginning of June. Mid-April or beginning of June. I do think the uh, we'll, we'll probably get the global first between um, March and April time. Uh, I do think end of March, April time, we'll probably get the um, global first, but then April, June, April, April, May, April, May time, sorry, uh, April, May time, we'll probably get this, uh, probably towards the end, middle of April, towards May, so we'll probably start getting this, uh, I, it does make sense to me, so yeah, this will probably come probably a month or two months, probably, uh, yeah, probably, I'd say probably a month before the big sixth anniversary, so this is the LR Gene uh, this is the Janemba banner. We've got two LRs. We've got the LR Vegitos, uh, which are excellent characters. They're both really good. The third anniversary LR is really good. The fifth anniversary LR Vegito, he's a powerhouse unit. Very amazing. We've got the Gotenks, uh, which I didn't get. <laughs> His summon banner did, is not, something I did not want to summon on. Uh, all of the units I already had rainbowed on the banner. So the banner was useless to me. But um, now that he's coming back, it's definitely worth it for me to summon on. Uh, for this Janemba and here's a look at the Janemba himself. He, he starts off as base form Janemba uh, Attack and defense plus 120% guards all attacks Ex extreme class gives two key and 30% With four more key spheres obtained. So yeah, you do need to have kind of a key sphere changing sort of team He gets uh, damage received by 30% with two more rainbow key spheres. So two rainbow and about four key spheres in total. So You need some orb changes on this team his team is Mind and Body Erosion. He's the leader for 3 key and 170% stats. And also Extreme Class Leader, 3 key and 130% stats. So you can see that small eventual change from 120 to 130. 
coming into Dokkan. So, yeah, uh, he's fitting alongside the new 120 Easy A's as well for his uh, secondary leader skill, which is an excellent leader skill as well. So, yeah, there's this Janemba, and then he transforms into uh, this um, Super Janemba. He's got passive skill, super attack, and everything. Uh, changes his links quite a lot. And he just becomes a powerhouse. He's an excellent character, really cool. I really like the Janemba. I'm a big fan of this Janemba. He's just really cool. We've never seen this, uh, the fat version of Janemba in the game. But yeah, he's going to be coming of regular Janemba and Super Janemba. So I can't wait. This um, this is going to be something really cool. So we'll probably expect this between the end of April and beginning of May. So th that's when I expect. Because I do think that the 6th uh, anniversary will be probably coming to us July time. Uh, beginning of July. So end June, July. So between May, April, May, end of April, middle of May, and then middle of May, we're going to start getting the uh, some other celebration, probably another kind of collab. They'll probably put in together a global and JP collab, and then bang, we'll probably get sixth anniversary. So yeah, and then uh, this is the Paikohan banner. Paikohan banner basically has every character I've got rainbowed on it. <laughs> So the only characters I don't have rainbowed are the LR Gogeta, the Boo that transforms, and the uh, Paikohan. Uh, like, uh, I've got a problem with the new Dual Dokkan Festival T was. I do think they're very lackluster. Uh, since Trunks and Zamasu came out, those two kind of set a good benchmark. But then since then, the Boo and the Gotenks were just mm, mid, very mid. I don't, I don't like the whole it requires you to have six turns then transformation sort of thing. I'd like it if transform and then transform and then transform. Turn after turn after turn. The next turn they come in, they transform. Next turn they come in, they transform. Next turn they come in, they transform. And it should be something where you just, it should be like Golden Freezer. You flick it up, they, sh they should transform. But unfortunately, it's not like that. There's turn restrictions and everything. But the Pycon is very powerful. LR Gogeta is powerhouse. Broly and Gogeta are two amazing characters. Turles is really good as well. And we've got the third anniversary LR Goji, a very powerful unit as well, as well as the STR Goji, he's got extremely good extremes awakening as well, him and Janemba have two of the better EZAs in the game, so they're very good, very good, very powerful unit, so the banners are very decent as well, uh, for me personally, the uh, the Janemba banner is better in my opinion for me, but um, for uh, global players, it's up to you guys, uh, it depends what you have rainbowed, but this is both banners are really good both banners are really good so there's a look at them and there's a look at Pycon. Pycon's a leader for connected hopes he's a category leader gives three key and 170 percent stats super class leader as well three key 130 percent stats and then he's got the unit super attack where you basically if you have any uh goku angel or vegeta angel attacking in the same turn uh, you get to see gogeta and Pycon do this combo super attack where Pycon throws his orbs of uh, orbs and key spheres and then you see Gogeta coming in with the soul punisher really really cool uh so yeah this he gets he gets a unit super attack which is uh, the new mechanic attack and defense plus 150 percent super class allies get two key and 30 percent attack and defense with three or more uh type key spheres obtained plus an additional four key and a high chance of evading enemies attack and colonial super attack and seals the enemy super attack with a rainbow key sphere so you do need rainbow key spheres for either of the characters so yeah that would be great for them to come okay so there's the pike Han, and then we're going to move into the big 60th anniversary it's going to start off and i'll probably expect this to be at the end of uh, middle of june uh probably the middle of uh yeah middle of june we're going to start getting announcements and then uh we'll probably start moving in and then when it comes in towards the end of june we're going to get the 66 category uh, character summon which will basically be a 250 dragonstone banner with a lot of characters that you probably want in the game all the lrs that are summonable remember there's a difference between dokkan festival lrs and summonable LRs. Dokkan Festival LRs basically be featured alongside Dokkan Festival characters and then regular LRs be featured on their own legendary banner. So 
they they uh, they don't they uh, regular LRs never be alongside Dokkan Festival. Dokkan Festival LRs be ar alongside Dokkan Festivals. So these guys here, this banner is amazing because you, you're gonna have access to every LR in the game. If we look at the normal here, you got Turles, you got Vegeta, you got Broly, you got Goku Black, you've got Broly, you've got Kalen Khalifla, you got Ultra Instinct Goku, you've got Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, the only one that's not shown here is Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, but I do expect uh, the Super Saiyan Gohan, which transforms to Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, to probably be on this 66 character multi as well, since um, we got Gohan during the Christmas celebration. So we're going to get the 66 character summon, and then after that is the big celebration. We've got the big, big boys here. <laughs> This is the sixth anniversary, which is currently what JP is in right now. So you've got ultra, uh, you've got brand new Ultimate Gohan. You've got LR uh, Buhan here, uh, basically Boo Tanks, and then he transforms into Buhan. We've got Ultra Instinct Goku. We've got Beerus. We've got uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, which transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the int one. We've got Kaiken Goku. We've got LR Gohan, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku, the uh, TUR, Ultra Instinct, uh, I mean, sorry, and Golden Freezer. So, this is the actual Ultra Instinct Goku banner. For me, I need one, two, three, four, five, five characters out of the 10 SSRs that are featured. So, five out of the 10 featured SSRs. So, we've got a lot of great powerhouse characters here. I mean, heck, you want a save for this big celebration. You want to save for this. There's going to be tickets. It's going to be get uh, do three multi summons, one free with tickets. You guys already know. All of these characters that featured are absolutely excellent. If you're new to the game, you want to be saving for this no matter what. Uh, LR Ultra Instinct Goku is just a powerhouse. You guys can check out, check out the uh, link in the description down below as well for the full um, video and everything breakdown of him. He's just a powerhouse. Miraculous Awakening representatives of Universe 7 character leader, 3 key and 170% stats. Super attack, perfect instinct and supreme Kamehameha. Uh, passive skill, attack 150%, great chance of evading enemies attack including your super attack. Key plus 1 up to 5 with each attack evaded including your super attack plus an additional defense plus 30% after evading an attack including a super attack within the same turn. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack. When 50 percent, uh, when HP is 50 percent or less upon the attacking turn, after character receives three attacks in battle, the character is or ally is attacking in the same turn is knocked out. He basically revives. So he revives under 50 percent HP. If you get knocked out, he just needs to get hit three times, which is going to be hard because he dodges a lot. <laughs> so let him get hit a few times. Uh, hopefully, if he gets hit, then you'll be okay. And then he has an active skill, flare of anger. He's got ridiculous link skills. The only link he doesn't have, uh, this is a problem with the Blue Vegeta and Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, they don't have Super Saiyan as a link. So, yeah. And he's on, on a lot of teams. This is what you want to be summoning for. So, this is Ella Ultra Instinct Goku. Here's his banner. Absolutely amazing banner. You've got one, two, three, four LRs featured on this banner. That's it's crazy. And all four LRs are amazing. The new Buhan. New Ultra Instinct Goku, the uh, uh, super, uh, you got you guys you, you guys favorite this uh, Super Saiyan uh, Gohan that turns into Super Saiyan Two, but you'll never see a Super Saiyan Two transformation. <laughs> I mean, he's amazing, but he's not that amazing. Super Saiyan Four Goku is better. Yeah, Super Saiyan Four Goku, yeah, he's amazing, uh, especially with the links. Max out his links. Ultra Instinct Goku, Buhan is ridiculous. And Gohan is amazing as well. So there's his banner. There's Ultra Instinct Goku. And then we've got the final banner here for the Evolution Blue Vegeta. His banner is ridiculous as well. you got the new Golden Freezer and Gohan unit. you got Vegito coming back. <laughs> you guys already know the fiasco. I had three more than 3,000 stones spent and I didn't get this Vegito. It is ridiculous. I only got one copy of him. Uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta is here. Kefla is going to be returning. Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta which transforms into Margin Vegeta. Cell, he's amazing, uh, especially with the link update. Cell is ridiculous. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the LR is amazing. Hit 17 and Evolution 
Vegeta, which transforms from Blue Vegeta into Evolution. So, yeah, he'll be working perfectly with the new LR. And here's a look at the brand new LR. Uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan involved Vegeta is the leader for Power for Revival and representatives of Universe 7. He gives two key and 130%. No, no, that's wrong. Uh, we want to look at him as an LR. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Three key and 170% stats. There we go. Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, Power of Revival and representatives of Universe 7. Pride of our Warrior Race and Final, Fla Fi Final Flash are his super attacks. He has a passive skill similar to Goku, but with him instead, he reduces damage received. Um, he gets key each time he gets hit. And then uh, he, he, he keeps giving himself more damage reduction up to 30% each time he gets hit. He has a, a medium chance of launching an additional super attack. Uh, and then obviously if he gets hit seven times in a battle, when your HP is 50% or above, uh, below and you get knocked out, you get revived. And then he's got a final explosion, active skill, passive skill, uh, transformation. He, ridiculous, ridiculous. This guy's a powerhouse. The other one's a powerhouse. 21,000 HP, 19,850 attack, and uh, 15,000 defense. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely giving this guy level 5 in attack. I, I am. I will do. And then, uh, obviously, uh, once he does his active skill, he will become shirtless. So here, let's look at him in his shirtless form as well. So there you go. There's the 6th anniversary summons. Uh, here's the LR Ultra Instinct Goku summon. These aren't going to change. These are going to be staple banners. They're not going to change. Uh, have a look at what's here for offer for you guys so you guys know exactly what's coming up uh, so this is the goku banner ultra instinct goku banner and here's the uh ev evolution blue vegeta banner you got one two three four lrs featured on both banners vegeto the new ev ev evolution blue vegeta cell who's amazing super same for vegeta he's amazing and maybe we might uh, for the JP side of the game, they'll probably get an LR for either 17 or uh, hit. So yeah, plenty of amazing stuff still to come on Dokkan. So I'm going to show you guys all of the banners that are going to be coming. So right now on Super Saiyan 4 Go GR, uh, next banner is probably going to be the Turles. Turles is probably either going to come during this celebration or the next celebration. Uh, most likely uh, this celebration. Then we're going to get the Bojack, which will probably come towards um, beginning of uh, the end of this, uh, the end of March. Um, I'd say probably beginning of March. Beginning of March, we're going to get this guy. Uh, and then after March, we'll probably get the um, something global exclusive so between March and April. And then towards the end of April, or probably uh, end of April, beginning of May, beginning of May, I think we're probably going to get the Janemba and the Pai Kahan Doodle Dokkan Festival. So yeah, loads of amazing stuff there. And then June, we're going to start getting the pre-hype and maybe a Doodle Dokkan Festival between JP and Global. And then um, July time, we're going to be getting Ultra Instinct Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. So anyways, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. It was a bit of a long video, but I wanted to show you guys all of the characters which are upcoming to the global side of the game. As always, if you enjoyed today's Dragon Ball Z Dog Combat video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for plenty more Dragon Ball Z Dog Combat videos. And make sure you guys catch me on the next Dragon Ball Z Dog Combat video. As always, guys, it's Invective here. I'll see you guys on the next Dragon Ball Z Dog Combat video. Peace out.